Hey, this is Doc here for a quick, quick comparison of what the video capture quality is from a Blackmagic Intensity card versus using Reflection, which is a brand new application made for the Macintosh that allows you to airplay mirror things from your iPad or iPhone 4S to your Macintosh via a Wi-Fi connection. The Intensity allows you to do the same thing over an HDMI. So this is going to be a quick comparison of the two. First, you need to see Blackmagic Intensity. Here's what it is. It's a PCI card or the external box. I happen, the two on the bottom you see here, we happen to have both of those in our co-working location. So the Intensity Pro is what I'm using right now for this particular portion of the video to capture. Uh, the Intensity Pro is really fast and doesn't really have any lag. It's super simple. It's super easy to do. You just sort of plug it in, plug in a PCI card. So here's a video game. And again, it looks pretty simple nothing too hard you know it kind of just works itself right in um, the quality is pretty good the video quality is pretty good now here's its ability to play video video and you'll see right quick I'll play you a quick snippet from Leo and it's also able to play that very well again no sort of weird reaction nothing like that I mean it totally plays well it looks great the intensity is uh, 189 bucks for the PCI Express version and the PCI Express version basically plugs right into your computer. It, uh, it requires drivers, but it's a simple install. And the extreme version, which is an external version, basically runs at about 300 bucks, and it connects via Thunderbolt. Now I have both of those. Now this is Reflections app, basically giving you the same input. All you do is you double click on the AirPlay thing, find your Mac Pro or you know MacBook Air, whatever Mac you're using, turn on mirroring. And I'm going to show you what the same quality looks like again 15 bucks it's very responsive it's very reactive i know you can't see my finger scrolling but it pretty much keeps up i mean it's a little bit more laggy than the actual hardware but that is to be expected this is going over wi-fi whereas the hardware is being plugged in through an hdmi now you'll see if i go to put look at the gameplay gameplay looks relatively the same uh you know no too much not too much lag no weird artifacts it sort of just is what it is it does support rotationing and then let's go back over here and take a quick look at Leo. If I'm playing uh, a video here of Twit, let's see if this can do this. It's still loading because uh, I'm streaming the video. Give it a second. Netcasts you love from people you trust. Okay, so it is able to play the video, um, but the video doesn't play back as well. But normally for that, uh, I don't know if you have the computer and you have the videos on your iPad You probably have those same videos on your computer so you could probably play them straight So it can do video as well, but again, we're talking um, if we go back here. We're talking about 15 bucks versus uh, 300 bucks or 200 bucks so that's it a quick comparison again the intensity you're looking at two to three hundred dollars reflection is only 15 i'm going to say reflection is well worth the 15 dollars if you're looking for a quick and easy way to demo apps or go grab some quick uh, screen captures or show people how to do things on an ipad or an iphone check out reflections for the macintosh is 15 dollars from reflectionapp.com